Hi everyone and welcome back to the newly released Infinity War 4 full review. So I guess we'll start quickly with the box. And as you can see, um, great artwork of 4 in his full lightning mode on the front cover. And uh, they've continued on with their theme for the Infinity War line where there's this cutout on the front sleeve. On the side, as uh, you can see there, the figure and his accessories are already displayed. But anyways, um, you can see there's his logo, uh, Milnir, and the Avengers logo is gold, gold plated, or gold foiled. On the back, you got the various warnings and contact information. Hot Toys Limited. And on the left side, uh, they've continued on with their motif, where they put an image of of the gauntlet. So, just cracking on with this review, let's get to the figure and the, access the accessories themselves. So there you are, there's the figure, and we'll start off with his accessories first. So, first he comes with two um, rubber silicone arms where you, so you can choose to swap these out to replace um, the armored arms and these are very muscular you can see all of his veins and uh, but there is a seam line along the middle <clears throat> uh, and you can also see that Hot Toys has sculpted in some arm hair. Um, there is a photo that Hot Toys posted where their blogger bended, bent the arms all the way up to here. But uh, I'll put that on, on the left side now. But then uh, it's recommended that you only bend it up to 90 degrees so you don't crack the rubber here. So that's a nice display option. You can have him on the Statesman where he wasn't all caped out with his axe. Or you can have him when he enters Wakanda where he has all of his godly um, gear. Uh, you get eight pairs of hands including a pair of grabbing hands. I've got the other one on his, on his arm there. Um, a pair of fists. You set these out of shot. Um, a pair of relaxed palms. And a pair of, I suppose, reaching hands. Um, he does come with two, two different eye patches. Um, I'm pretty sure one, this, hopefully you can see it there. Yeah, the one with the gold. I think that is the one from the end of Ragnarok, I'm not sure. And this one has no pattern, so one of them is from the end of Ragnarok, and the other one is from the start of Infinity War, until he gets his mechanical eye. And these are magnetic to... I mean, there is a magnet on his right eye, and there is a magnet on the back of these patches. So I'll show how to put those on later. Um, you also get these lightning effects. Oh, oops. Now these two go on his arms. And those go on his circle pieces. On his actual body. And um, there is a light up function that you can use. Which, pop, which pops. Um, which makes the, these effects pop. Uh, next is Stormbreaker. Very detailed. You can see all the runes. Let me just, yeah, you can see the runes there. And uh, Groot's arm or the wood handle is very detailed. With some wraps along there. And there's a leaf. Now some people are saying that this is a little underscaled. 
and uh, it's not really movie accurate because there was more there were more branches wrapped around the two pieces and these wraps were not there and the leaf was not there it was just a a random uh, a blank log so I'll put that image up right now or before and you can compare it for yourselves but um just just having it on its own and displayed with him you would don't really notice that it's underscaled and to an extent it's it looks more detailed to have these um i suppose grips wraps if that'll focus sorry on on the axe itself because it gives it more detail maybe you could lose the leaf but that's not a big too big of a deal and on the axe itself uh, th this is made of plastic it's not metal or anything if you can hear that um, there are two different types of silver you got a darker gunmetal type and a lighter silver here and it is panel lined uh, they have accented the panel lines with a black or grey wash there again the top is very detailed it resembles some of Milner's markings and they've continued on with the runes on 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 the other side as well and on the bottom there so that all in all this is pretty epic piece to have and I will certainly be displaying my four with this Stormbreaker. <clears throat> uh, the last thing that he comes with is this um, he uh, this hexagon stand, which is the same as the other Infinity War pieces, where you have the movie logo and character. It seems like they're not doing any metal nameplates anymore, but uh, Hella had one, and newly released. I mean, newly announced, Crate Luke has a metal nameplate, so... Hmm. It, it, Hot Toys are sending us mixed messages on whether they're not or not. They're going to have metal nameplates on their figures. And he does come with some swap-out pieces to recreate that initial look he had on the Statesman. There's this swap-out shoulder piece. So if you don't want to have the cape displayed, you just pop that out and you put this back on just a matte black finish and some weathering it's not that evident on the camera but there are some light scuffs and scratches that's just sculpted plastic and he also comes with these um, these two pieces that go that go underneath that top circle that go there. I'm not really sure what these are for though. But when you take out off his cape, you're supposed to put these pieces underneath that top circle. Again, they're just solid matte black and you can see the pegs there where you're supposed to pop it on. Are you, I don't think these are marked with left or right. Um. No, they're not. Anyways. So now I'm just gonna clean my area up and I'll set up four on the display base so we can take cl a closer look at the costume. Okay, we'll start off with the head sculpt here. Um, first of all, I don't have a UV torch, but the eyes do reflect under a UV light. So I can't really demonstrate that right now, but uh, I know that Toys TV has shown that effect. But all in all, this is a very nice sculpt. Um, there are some minor differences to the Gladiator 4 version, um, such as the scar there and there, and the, f the fact that his his temple is actually wider 
Now the reason that is is because the Gladiator 4 one had to fit his helmet. So uh, on this one there, there is no helmet obviously. So they can make it a bit more accurate to Chris Hemsworth himself. And also the hair is on one piece so there is no um, line where you would put on the hair piece. There's really not much to say aside from this head sculpt is perfect and it just seems like that Chris Hemsworth is on your shelf shrunk down okay now for his armor uh, you can see that it's all very matte black uh, there's really there is some weathering and scuffing as you can see here and these circle pieces are very detailed. I, I really like how they've uh, put in some silver details. I'm not really sure what's, what that's supposed to represent, but that looks pretty cool. Um, and this does look a bit more weathered. Because they've got some brown on there. And for his cape, I've just got it pushed out to one side because the pole is, blo is blocking it. But if I if I strip, if I push it, pull it out here, okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, yep, yeah, like that. There is no wire in the cape, but it's a very light material, so it it does flow really well. It's not like those Star Wars capes, but. Um, they've sewn in some of these folds here, and I really like how there's some there's more detail in the cape, and especially on the other side here, you can see there's some pattern work. So it's not just a a flat black surface on the back. There there is detail on this side on the on the black side of of the cape. So that's nice. Uh, for his um, armored arms they're very shiny and I'm not really sure um, what material this is but I would assume that it's recommended that you don't leave this bended for prolonged amounts of time but this does look pretty awesome and you can have him flying about on his dynamic pole recreating the Wakanda scenes now I've just got him with his, um, where was this? Um, his reaching hand, and um, that the grabbing hand there, so I can recreate that um, that scene before he slams into the ground with his axe. Um, the pants, um, they are a um, pleather material, so. Under humidity, they may crack up. Now, I've never actually had one of my pleather costumes crack because I I always blast the AC on in my in my collection room. But I'm not really sure if these will crack under time. But assume that they will and take care of all your pleather figures. Very good sewing details there. You see that that is some brilliant detail, and his boots are actually two pieces. Hot Toys, uh, Hot Toys has done their standard two-piece boot again, where that is actually different, so you get more articulation in there. So that is the figure as a whole. Now I'll swap out his circle pieces and put on the, the lightning on his arm so we can recreate that fully electrified mode. Alright, so I've swapped out all of the circle pieces and put on his arm lightning effect which took about 15 minutes. Yeah, the circle pieces are kinda hard to get out. But, as you can see, once you put on all of his lightning pieces and 
his fully god mode unlocked kind of theme, it looks extremely badass. Especially on the flying uh, stand. Now, the only thing that I have a little problem with is to make this look even better, the cape could have had a wire on it to make it look like it was flowing in the back. But that's not really that big of an issue. As you can see, uh, it does. It still looks pretty good even without a wire. So this is how I'll be displaying my my figure on my shelf. Which, if you saw my unboxing video, you kind of have an idea of what's going on there. So um, that's it for this video. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't showcase all the other, um, like the eye patch and the. Um, rubber arms but all you have to do for that is the eye patch is magnetic um, the rubber arms you just pop out these um, armored arms and you just put those on and that's really it um, I just wanted to, to showcase this um, like the fully badass for is I'm guessing that's how most people will display their figure so uh, that's it for this video. This will probably be the highlight of any Avengers Infinity War display. And there is an, uh, again, there is a UV light up eye, not light up, UV reflective eye, but I don't own a, a UV torch, so I can't demonstrate that. Um, Toys TV um, have showcased every single swap out feature so uh, I recommend if you are interested in in no in seeing how the swap out arms look then I recommend you go to their YouTube channel or check out the Hot Toys Facebook page where they posted just tons of photos of the four figure so that's the end of this video guys, there's really not much else I can say except it looks awesome and I'm just going to show you quickly what I'm going to do with this, Oops. bringing him up past Deadpool and Venom and putting him on this shelf here with my other Infinity War figures. Now I have to do some rearranging but that's the general idea so that's it for this video and thanks for watching